Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, this is kind of a last minute thing that I'm doing here today. I just decided to go live because um, my kids are busy playing down in the basement. Um, and I have nothing going on right now. And I wanted to give some updates about what's been going on with me and my author stuff. Um, and then give any, but any of you a chance to ask me any questions that you want to ask about uh, self-publishing, um, being an author, uh, or about my books or anything. So, um, hi. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait a couple minutes for more people to join us. Um, so I went live for my first time on Facebook, gosh, uh, a year and a half ago during my first Kickstarter and I was really nervous about doing it. So I talked to one of my friends, Molly, who does it all the time. And she said, just go for it, be yourself, have fun. So I brought my daughter on with me to kind of relax me. And uh, it was actually really fun. So my advice for you there is, you know, the more you do something, the uh, less nervous you are. So if you've never done Facebook Live before and you're an author, you should do it because it's kind of fun and, and um, just something different. Okay, so um, my name is Stacy Bauer. I am a mom of Camden, who's 10, and Wyatt, who's 7. And I am a wife of William, my superhero husband, who helps me ship out my books and does my weekly post office runs. I'm also a teacher. I've been a teacher for 17 years. I've taught kindergarten, second, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Um, and I've always wanted to be a writer. Um, so a couple years ago, I took a leave from teaching and I decided to write a book. And I remember thinking this is gonna be easy. I'm just gonna write a book. So I, um, I wrote the book and then of course, a lot of you have, a lot of you know that I didn't know what to do after that. So anywho, uh, two and a half years later, <laughs> it's been a crazy, wild journey. I look really tired today, and my hair is kind of crazy, so sorry about that. Um, uh, it's been a wild ride, but I've made so many awesome author friends, and I mean, my family has been so supportive, and um, um, my friends and my church friends and my school community and I'm just really lucky to have so many people supporting me on this journey so I just want to thank everybody for that um, <laughs> so um, since I was last on Facebook live gosh I think the last time I did one of these was maybe uh, in the fall I think I did one talking about marketing um, so this is my first book that came out uh, in 2018, I did run a Kickstarter for it. I, um, before I ran the Kickstarter, I did research for months. I started doing research in the fall of 2017, and I ran my Kickstarter in February of 2018. Um, in my experience, I've, uh, I've watched a lot of Kickstarters fail, and I feel like um, some of them fail because people just kind of wing it and go in there not really having their audience set not really knowing what they're doing or having supported anybody else so um if you want support you have to give support so get on kickstarter support people do your research research um, campaigns who've been successful um so that was my first one and my second book i did a kickstarter for this one last year um and i raised nine thousand dollars for it which covered um printing and illustrations so I'm very grateful to have um, had another successful Kickstarter. So this is book two of my hardcover book. Um, so then over the summer, I spent a lot of time doing author events, book signings, um, different things like that. And I started writing my third hardcover book, which is too much screen time. And I'm really excited to announce today that I'm going to be doing another Kickstarter. So after I did this Kickstarter, uh, I was said, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Super stressful, 30 days, because I was, um, it was just really stressful. Um, but then I ran this one, and I, and I said, okay, now I have the money. I don't need to do it again. But you guys, like, even though I'm selling a lot of these books on Amazon, um, all the money that I'm making is going back into my third book. Like, I have to pay for illustrations. Um, the printing of the book, which is $2 a book, 
Um, so, and I usually order 3000 books. So that's $6,000 right there. Um, and then marketing the books. I mean, I pay for marketing every day on Amazon. I run Facebook ads, Instagram, paying for my website, paying for materials like these bookmarks, um, all that stuff, of course, costs money. And so I'm still not really profiting. I mean, I'm profiting a little bit, but all the profit I make is going back in to the books. So I decided I'm going to run another Kickstarter. My husband's really excited about it because the month of February is super fun at our house. <laughs> but I'm not teaching full time this year. So I'll have more time to do it than I did last year. Last year, I ran the Kickstarter and I was teaching full time. I did not illustrate my books, Wendy. They are illustrated by, my, by the wonderful Rebecca Sinclair. I wish I had that talent, but I don't. So I found Rebecca, actually, people ask me all the time, where'd you find your illustrator? I found Rebecca on Pinterest, actually. Um, I did look on Fiverr and Upwork and in some Facebook groups, but I didn't really find anyone that, that really had the style I was looking for. So I went on Pinterest one day and I just typed in children's um, illustrations and she came up because she has an Etsy shop where she sells her artwork and she had just graduated from art school in California and she had never done a book before so this is her first book but I love her illustration she uses colored pencil and uh, she really takes her time and you can tell I mean with a picture book you really want the illustrations to be really really good because I don't know about you but when I go to buy a picture book the cover is what pulls you in um, Okay, what was I talking about now? This is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. You lose your train of thought. Um, okay, let's see. I think I was talking about Kickstarter again. So um, I'm running another Kickstarter campaign for my third book, and I'm so excited because I just got my little magnet, save the date magnets. Here they are. So it's called Cammy and Wyatt Have Too Much Screen Time. Um, I threw a Wyatt in there this time instead of just Cammy Kangaroo because I'm going to have both books both books. Both kids star in the third hardcover book. So um, my kids did want me to tell you that they don't have too much screen time. Um, they do have screen time, but it's not that much. But I told my kids I exaggerated it for the sake of the book. So, um, but they wanted me to let you know that. <laughs> that they don't have that much screen time. So this is going to launch on February 4th, 2020, which is really weird saying that. Um, you can follow me on at Stacy C Bauer, which most of you do. I'm going to be doing the same thing again on my from my website, which is if you subscribe to my website, you get the book for a special price um, instead of I think I'm going to set it at uh, a few dollars cheaper than I will the second day. So if you want my brand new book for a special discounted price, go to StacyCBauer.com. Sorry about my band-aid there and subscribe and I will be sending out an email on February 4th in the morning and anybody who uh, purchases my book from that email will get the special price. So make sure you go on my website and do that. Um, I wanted to talk about some other updates that I've had going on this fall. I've been quite busy because I do have the year off of teaching. So I thought, you know, I'm going to get a lot of stuff done this year. So I've had people over the last couple of years ask me if I have little stuffed kangaroos to go with my books, and I didn't, so I was referring them to Amazon to somebody else's stuffed kangaroo. I did buy these little guys from Oriental Trading. They were like 50 cents or something like that, or a dollar, and I was giving them away with my books over the summer at different events. Um, they're pretty cute. They have a little pouch you can put little tiny stuff in, um, but I found this company that a lot of my author friends use called Got a Toy. And you can send your a picture of whatever you want me to do a stuffed animal to that company and they will make it look exactly like your character. So I decided I'm going to get Cammy and Wyatt actually made. Aren't these so cute? Here's my little Cammy. Or here's my little, here's my little Cammy. <laughs> it's the opposite on the computer. She has a little pouch and she has the blue bow. And then here's Wyatt. Um, and so I had, I think I ordered 300 of each to keep costs down. Um, and they are from China, from a company in China, so I had to pay some shipping. Um, they're, so now they're in my house, and I, bring, I don't sell them on Amazon. I bring them to different events. I bring them to, I sell them at school visits, and I sell them at craft fairs. And uh, this, right before Christmas, I had put some of these little gift bags together. I found these, these bags at the Dollar Tree, along with these tags. Um, and then I put one of each of my books in here. I have four books now, and then these two little kangaroos two um, bookmarks and two stickers. 
and I was selling these for $45. It's always hard to know how to price things, but I wanted to give people a good deal if they bought this whole gift set. So, um, something else I had made is a coloring book. So I hired somebody on Fiverr and I paid them, oh gosh, I can't remember, a couple hundred dollars. And they pulled, they created the, help me make the cover of the book. And they pulled um, different pages from both of my earlier books. And they just took out the colors, basically, and redrew the lines. I also had um, them make some mazes to go with the book. Um, thank you, Tina, for getting the gift set. And I had um, connect the dots and word searches. So this book is my first um, print-on-demand book that I have through Amazon. So these two books I sell on Amazon in a um, through a program called Amazon Advantage, where Amazon sends me a purchase order every Monday, and then I send books to them, and then as they sell, they pay me. It's kind of like consignment. They pay me 45% of whatever they sell. People are kind of like, 45%? That's barely anything. Well, I priced these books at $17.99 on Amazon, and right now they're both 13 something, but I still make 45% of $17.99, which is about $8. And you might think, well, $8, that's not really that much. Well, when you're selling 100 books on Amazon, which is about how many I'm selling right now, um, I can't sell that many books anywhere else. I could try to sell them from my website, but honestly, when's the last time you sold book, you bought a book from somebody's website? People buy books mostly at least I do on Amazon and everybody I know is like, are they on Amazon? Are they on Amazon? So Amazon has the free shipping. If you're a prime member, um, I mean, it's just, in my opinion, it's the way to go. So that's why I'm selling these. The, this one is paperback. So this one's printed on demand, which means if you go order this on Amazon, you pay $7.99. Um, Amazon prints this out from their print shop and sends this to you. So I don't get this. These I print on my own from Bang Printing in Minnesota. We go pick these up. These are printed right off on Amazon. I also got it in my head in October, nothing like last minute, that I wanted to make a book about kindness. Um, as a teacher and a mom, I really, really, really have a place in my heart for teaching kids how to be kind and um, encourage kids to show acts of kindness. Um, we talk a lot about it in my classroom, like every day last year we talked about random acts of kindness and how doing one small act of kindness for somebody a day just fills up your bucket and fills up theirs and they can go do something for somebody else and so on. You can really just change the world. So I, I uh, emailed my lovely illustrator, Rebecca, and I said, hey, <laughs> I want to make a kindness activity book. And, you know, even though she's busy doing illustrations for this book, she's awesome. And so she created... Um, brand new, about 30 brand new illustrations for my kindness book too. Now, this one is another paperback book. So this is printed on demand from Amazon. This is from Amazon Printers. Rebecca did the cover here, which I think is just lovely. I've got my series name up here. Um, and can be wineness, wineness, can be white and kindness too. And then um, you'll see on the inside that it's not colored. Um, so we left it open like this so that kids could color it however they wanted to. And there's kind of a story that goes with it. So I kind of did it by seasons. Cammie and Wyatt came through our learning about random acts of kindness. Random acts of kindness is anything that makes others happier, cheers them up. In autumn, Cammie raked her neighbor's yard. Wyatt said good morning to the bus driver every day. So you can read this to your kids or if you're a teacher to your students. Um, and they can color it as reader. They don't have to color it. And then there's also some space to draw. Like there's this page that says draw a picture of something you can do in the autumn to help someone else. So you can really talk to your kids about, hey, you can be kind any time of year. And then there's some journaling pages too. Um, who can you ask to play this week? Draw a picture of you and a friend playing. So I tried to make it um, a book that could be used at home, daycare, school, preschool, really anywhere. And then I also, um, because I'm a teacher, I decided to put some teaching um, things for teachers and parents in the back. So ideas for teachers and parents, questions to ask as you're reading it, um, and activities to do with your kids. Write it, and then these are reproductible pages, so you have permission to print the, to copy these pages off for your class, um, for your students to do, or for your children to do. So just wanted to share that. 
Okay. Um, these are the first bookmarks I ever had made, so I'm going to be updating these, but I still have some of these, so I want to use those up. And something else that I just got from Amazon um, is a, these signed by the author stickers. So how I'm going to use these is I have my books in about 25 local shops around the Twin Cities area and into Wisconsin. And as I drop more books off, I'm going to put these on there so that people know, wow, these books are autographed. Because I just think it's really neat to get a book that's autographed. Because I love books and I think it's kind of cool to get one that's autographed. So that's about it for me. Um, so thank you for following my journey and for your support. And does anybody have any questions? Do you have any questions about uh, um, publishing or printing or my marketing I've done or my kids? Um, whenever I ask students that at school visits, they ask me if my kids are really kangaroos. And then I say, what do you think? <laughs> Preschool kids always say, yeah. And then the older kids are like, no, they're not really kangaroos. So we, we, I always talk a lot about why I chose kangaroos for my character and things like that. But school visits are fun. Will you consider making one about inclusion, disability, special needs? Yeah, I would consider that. That's a good idea, Tina. When I first started this series, I knew I wanted to be about my kids, uh, Cammy and Wyatt. Um, those of you who know me well know that I've posted funny stories about my kids on Facebook since my daughter turned about two and she started doing funny and stuff and saying funny things. And uh, one of our favorite series is the Bernstein Bears. And so when I decided to make a series, I wanted it to be kind of like that. I wanted it to be a series about, um, about kids and for kids, but also for parents about topics that um, are relevant to pretty much everybody. I mean, sorry, I'm having trouble with this screen. So teaching your kids to eat healthy, talking to your kids about having too much stuff. I mean, whenever I read these to, to kids, anywhere I go, they're like, oh, my room is like, my room looks like that. Or yeah, I like to sneak treats too. And I got cavities. And, and then this one, of course, could be for anybody being kind. So I made a whole list of about 30 ideas. Um, gosh, my, my kids fighting and having sibling rivalry was one of the ideas that I had. Um, uh, quitting t-ball when when you should just try harder that's something that my son went through um, uh, tattletaling I mean what kid doesn't go through that phase um, being honest um, what were some of the other ones oh gosh oh one of the kids suggested too much homework which of course they think is a major issue uh, chores getting your kids to help out around the house I mean, all those things are just little simple things, but I think they're things that a lot of families experience. So that's that's my list of ideas. Um, my daughter being bossy, don't tell her I said that. She's a leader, but she can be a little bit bossy. Uh, competitive, um, so all of those things. So if anybody has any ideas for me to write about, I always welcome ideas. Um, okay, so. Follow me along on my journey, keep following me. And like I said earlier in the video, if you're just joining us, I'm kickstarting my next hardcover book, Cammie and White of Too Much Screen Time on February 4th, 2020. If you want the special uh, discounted price, subscribe at stacycbauer.com. Um, you can also still purchase my first two books, these two hardcover books. In Amazon, it says you will get them before Christmas. So if you still are looking for a couple gifts, uh, these are great ones. Okay, anybody else have any questions before I sign off? Because I can hear people coming up the steps. I'm hiding in the playroom right now. <laughs> this is my office, but it's also the playroom. So I don't have a fancy office. Playroom, see? This is our playroom. Here's my daughter's Barbie house that she never plays with. Here's my desk. <laughs> What do you mean by do I have a community like um like an author audience like an audience like a Instagram Twitter Facebook is that what you're talking about if it is so how I started doing that um, and tell me if I'm I'm going the wrong direction here but so when I first decided I'm gonna run a Kickstarter no I didn't know what a Kickstarter was okay at all I had heard of it uh, starting in the summer of 2017, I met Diane Elber and Jay 
and they had both run a Kickstarter successfully. Um, I found them on an author groups on Facebook, which I highly suggest that you join if you're thinking about being an author. Um, and I'm still friends with both of them to this day. They've been extremely helpful. It's been three years, you guys. I can't believe that. So um, I decided, okay, I don't have any money. I mean, when I found out how much this was going to cost, this is going to cost me, you know, a few thousand dollars for illustrations plus like 4000 for printing back three years ago. So I only printed 1500 to start with, plus marketing, plus editing, plus Kickstarter fees. I thought, um, okay, I don't have $8,000 to publish a book. I don't have it. What am I going to do? And I see a lot of people asking that same question in these author groups that I'm in. Hi, Uncle Donnie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> My uncle's on from Wisconsin. Um, so I decided I'm going to try to run a Kickstarter. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can figure it out. And that's kind of my personality. I'm the firstborn and my parents raised me to be very like go-getter independent. So I figured it out. I did it. Like I said, I did a bunch of research. I backed a bunch of people on Kickstarter and I created my first campaign. Um, so that's how I started growing my audience and my community. Okay. See, we have people who can help you. Okay. So I'll talk about that. So in November of 2017, I wrote my first blog post. I had to uh, set up my website, which was a major 